Hello. Uh, my name is Chuck Foster, and I'm going to give you a Japanese lesson. Probably it's not beginning, it's not advanced, it's somewhere maybe intermediate. What we're going to be using is the book Japanese for Busy People. There's actually two books like this uh, with the same name, same publisher, everything. But uh, this one was published about 10 years earlier, and this is the one I'm using. So what I'm going to do, I've already copied uh, chapter 40 in the vocabulary, in English and in Japanese. So I'm going to uh, read, we're going to read from that. But first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you uh, the Japanese, uh, then we're going to uh, take apart, um, there's about 15 sentences. Uh, I memorized about 11 of them so far. And we're probably going to do about the first three sentences in English and Japanese, uh, and so you can understand uh, Japanese and how sentences are formed. So a lot has to do with the uh, sentence structure, the grammar, and uh, the words, the vocabulary. So first, I'm going to read it. Okay, so this is uh, American speaking Japanese here. エロジ第 Okay, now what we can do, that, that's Japanese, this is the English here. And it's, again, it's the uh, uh, intermediate advanced. In the Edo period, a unified educational system had not yet to be established. However, in each of these, uh, in each fight, they created fight schools and promoted the understanding of not only military science, and various other studies. It is said that in the latter half of the 17th century, there were over 245 schools in the country as a whole. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, explain it to you, and then I'm going to show you that the written Japanese and then. So, the first sentence. Edo Ishidai ni wa, mada, tokuritsu, kikina. Kako no kyoto wa. Kako litsu kata. Okay, so let me uh, show you. Thank you very much. Okay. Now we're going to look at the sheet here, and we're going to, for those of you who know hiragana, this will help you to understand it. Okay. Let me find it here. So, eroji uh, dani wa mana toitsu takina. Okay, now what that uh, means, again, is the English here. Uh, in the Edo period, a unified educational system had not yet to be established. Okay, so let's, let's start in the beginning again. Uh, Edo jidai ni wa. So Edo means uh, the period of the Edo. Jidai means time. Niwa means uh, uh, during that or in uh, in that. So Edo Jinai Niwa means in the Edo period. And in Japanese, they always put the time or the location in the front. Uh, that means like the first uh, part of the sentence, the beginning words. Mada means uh, not yet. So, so far we have Edo Jinai Niwa, Mada, uh, Toitsu Takina. So Toitsu is the uh, uh, educational system. So, Gakko uh, Kyoko Seirawa, that's uh, the school system. Kakulitsu uh, Stenakata. So, Kakulitsu means to develop, and when you use the word Nakata at the end, it's a negative. So, it means it hadn't been developed. So, again, uh, uh, we have Eroji Dainiwa Mada Toichu Takina. 
Ka ko kyo ko se de wa ka ko su sen de kata. And the English is down here. And there's always a vocabulary sheet which will tell you uh, what all the words actually mean. So there we have a toitsu takina, the unified. Uh, toitsu means unification. Ga uh, ko kyo ku se do. So ga ko school. Uh, Kyoto is education and Sado is system. So that shows you there. So, really, uh, to learn Japanese, what you need is you have to have uh, um, a written Japanese text, preferably in hiragana. You have to have uh, a tape is good so you can hear what you're reading, and then you have to repeat uh, the words yourself. So, we're going to. Uh, Go to the second sentence here, okay? Skashi, kaku han de wa han no gako o tsukute bijutsu bakali denaku ilo ilo na gakumon wo shole sta. Okay, now skashi means uh, but in, in Japanese. Uh, kohan again is the fife, uh, and de means at. Wa is, means it's a, the subject of the sentence. So we're saying, skashi, kakuhan de wa, so, but in, in the fife, okay, now we're going to go to the next uh, word. Uh, han, now Han again is the, uh, is the fife, is the, the district uh, in the country. Han no gakko o. Gakko is a school, and what they do with, uh, the uh, subjects and the verb is they uh, put a, a little letter called O between the two, and that connects uh, connects it. So, skute means uh, to use something. So, we're talking about uh, skashi, but uh, in the uh, Fife school, uh, in the Han, the schools uh, were used. Okay, now we're going to go to the next uh, uh, part of the sentence, bijutsu uh, bakali denaku. So that's the warrior class, and uh, when you say bakali uh, denaku, means uh, it's a negative. So this means not only in the warrior class. Ilo uh, ilo na means many. Gakamon uh, means to study. O again uh, connects the uh, the verb with the subject, and show le shita. Now, anytime you put a ta at the end of the sentence, uh, that uh, means past tense. Uh, in English, we use the word ed. So, uh, just uh, quickly again. Skashi, kakuhan de wa, han no gakko o tsukute, bijutsu bakali denaku, ilo ilo na gakumon wo sho le shita. Now, the last uh, sentence of these three in the first paragraph is, Junana seki kohan ni wa, Zen koku de ni yaku yonju ko amali no hanko ga atato iwalalu. So let's uh, break that up a little bit. Again, we're going to talk about the period of time. Uh, Ju san is 17. So seiki is the period, so or century. So in the 17th century, um, Kohan, again, is a fife uh, school, which is a part of the uh, country. Niwa, so we're talking about in the 17th century. Uh, Zenkoku means uh, in the country. Zenkoku is the country. De means in, so in the country. Uh, this is a uh, Nihyaku Yonju Ko, that means 240. Ko is a number marker, so we're talking about 240. Uh, Amali no, so uh, means uh, uh, there were. Uh, hanko ga. Ga again is a subject, a lot like wa, but it's a little bit uh, more. I like to compare the ga to uh, the and the wa to a uh, in English. So, hanko ga atato. So, ata means was uh, iwalu. So, there was again. So, again, we have uh, that sentence. Junana seki kohan ni wa. Sen koku de. Nihyaku ko amali no hanko ga atato 
you well do. So just to uh, go through the first sentence in English, we have in the Edel period a unified educational system had not yet to be established. However, in each fife they created five schools and promoted the understanding not only of military science but various other studies. It is said that in the latter half of the 17th century, uh, there were over 245 schools in the country as a whole. So that's uh, the first three sentences of about 15. So that's our first installment on learning Japanese. And the next installment, we're going to take the next paragraph. Thank you for listening and studying Japanese.